to coast dealing with racial injustice have gripped the country. They have also caught the attention of lawmakers, including U.S. Senator John Cornyn. Tonight, we're one on one with the Texas Republican discussing everything from COVID-19 to George Floyd to President Trump. Spend a lot of time in Washington, D.C., and you encounter a lot of history. The peaceful protests, demonstrations, and even riots we've seen the past 10 days following the death of George Floyd might just be a defining moment in our history. Civil rights marches in the 60s and uh, the chaos and the, and the uh, violence that uh, arose out of some of that, the protests, um, obviously we as Americans, as Texans, have every single, every, every right to uh, protest. U.S. Senator John Cornyn says it remains to be seen what comes from all of this. Police reform? The Republican is open to funding it, depending on what's decided at the state level in Austin. Next session. To provide for better training, uh, de-escalation training. We know that, uh, for example, in the mental health field, that uh, we have used, we've used uh, federal grants to help train police officers to de-escalate confrontations when they encounter people who are mentally ill. But in our one-on-one -on -one today, Cornyn urged Texans to overwhelmingly support police. He's also still supporting no President country. Trump, even though he has come under fire for his response to the protests, most notably yesterday when former Secretary of Defense General Jim Mattis penned a scathing statement saying the president is trying to divide us. Has President Trump handled this crisis the right way? Well, I'm not sure any president handles a crisis perfectly uh, because if it were easy, anybody could do it. Uh, General Mattis, although I respect him tremendously, I think he's just looking at half of the equation. Cornyn says right now the main focus in Congress needs to be helping the economy rebound during a pandemic. That $2 trillion relief package passed in March probably wasn't enough. It's not just a matter of government saying, yes, you can reopen. It's going to be people's confidence. We will, I have no doubt, take up and, and pass another piece of legislation probably in the July time frame. Stimulus checks could be a part of that, as could a return to work bonus, perhaps more unemployment benefits or even liability protection for schools and businesses as families look to push forward. The Democratic-led U.S. House recently passed the $3 trillion HEROES Act, but it's unlikely to see a vote in the Senate, and President Trump has said he will not sign it. As unemployment grows amid the pandemic, more central Texans